Hey, what's going on guys? Samus here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario 64 DS. Last time we beat the game, and this time I'm going to be doing the bonus episode, as per usual with these games. Um, I'm not showing my face in this video because there's actually going to be a lot of gameplay. So, first things first, um, we already talked about at the very first episode, you know, what settings we have, and also that you can touch Mario's face and mess around and get Luigi and all that stuff, and that there you can actually end up drawing some stuff yourself as well, but we already went over that, so there's no reason to go over it again. But, what there is a point to go over is that you can actually access the rec room from here now as well, and that all the minigames that you unlock, at least on one save file, will be available to you from the title screen. Um, but, speaking of minigames, if we go ahead and hop inside of the game itself... We can see here, well, first of all, we can go to File Options, we can see our scores, um, we can see, we can copy and erase things, I never actually talked about that before, but going back to File A, um, as you guys can see, I'm Luigi for this, um, just like in the, um, after getting 150 Power Stars, just like in the original game, hop on this cannon right here, and shoot yourself up here. And upon doing so, you'll get three extra lives. And, well, for Mario, you would get a wing cap, but for Luigi's case, you just get invisibly sh invis ugh, invisibility shroom. Don't know why, but, oh no. But yeah, you can now, you know, access the castle, and, you know, you can get the wings. In the original Mario 64, um, Yoshi would be up here. I, it looks like there's, like, an invisible wall there. Uh, Yoshi would be up here, and you can get yourself, um... Uh, an enhanced triple jump, a typo, and a message from the Mario team, as well as uh, 99 lives. And I'm, and then Yoshi kills himself. Well, luckily he was revived for this game, so. And a re as a reference to that, Yoshi actually wakes up at the top of the castle, um, where he was in the original game, so. Nice reference there, and as you guys can see, I'm here trying to get the final bunny uh, for our mini games here. This, this money is, of course, only available to you after 150 power stars, and it unlocks the final mini game being um, unlocks the final mini game being um, wow, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Super Mario Slot, uh, which is just an enhanced version of Mario Slot. Um, we can go ahead and check that out now. I'm not actually going to play the minigame. I know I said that I was going to, but I decided against just playing all the minigames because there's literally no purpose in doing so. Um, if you guys want to check out the minigames for yourself, you can do the, so at another, you know, when you get this game. And also, I should probably, you know, mention... Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, 28 are there. And uh, some of the games are in New Super Mario Bros. DX, which eventually will cover New Super Mario Bros. DS, so it'll be something we'll get to... Um, you know, eventually in the future, um, which means I'll probably get to cover new mini games that are exclusive to that game, as well as uh, mini games that we didn't cover here. So going, going ahead and heading on, going ahead and heading. Wow, that was some MLG Pro strats right there. Heading into Kuku Mountain and Big Penguin Race, you probably noticed um, in the, you probably noticed in the credit scene of the game, as well as you know in my original Mario 64 playthrough. Uh, Mr. Penguin here has uh, gained some weight. What's up, pal? I haven't been on the slide lately, so I'm out of shape. Shill, shill. Still, I'm always up for a good race, especially against my old sledding buddy. What do you say? Ready, set, go. Which is weird because I'm pretty sure I did the stage with Yoshi, so or Mario. I'm not sure though. But if we go ahead um, and do this, you don't actually get a star. He's just because he's a lot fatter. Uh, he's a lot faster, and his rubber band AI is a little bit smarter. But eh, it gives you something to do after you get 100 stars, and I failed. And I don't think he actually says anything different either, so. It's honestly okay that we died. But that is pretty much it um, in terms of game, post game content. Slightly different than the original game, and <laughs> a collectible, but the collectible isn't really that important anyway. Now, moving back to the title screen, you might have noticed... Versus. As, as per usual, um, with, uh, this, um, I, there is a multiplayer mode, I think, 
you can play the mini games in multiplayer, but I'm not too sure about that. I know you can in 60 in New Super Mario Bros. DS, but you may not be able to in this game. But um, the multiplayer, you basically get to pick um, a variety of random courses, mainly the the slider, the co the castle, um, the and the two new stages in this game, the one in the back the back of the castle and the one in uh, the rec room being Sunshine Isles. You basically play as four differently colored Yoshis, all with the wing cap, ironically, and you basically just go around chasing stars, and whoever has the most amount of stars by the end of the time limit wins. And we can actually practice alone, so let's go ahead and pick a more unique stage here. Let's go with um, with that, with uh, Battle Fort here. And like I said, so you're, you're just here, get the star. So basically, one star will be bouncing around or in a cage or whatever. Um, and you can, you know, you can always switch to another, you know, Mario, Yoshi, Mario, Luigi, or Yo Wario. Wow, I almost said Toad. But like, as soon as you open it up, it starts falling and you can collect it. I don't think you actually have any health. Oh my god. Let me walk. Where's the star? Okay. Collecting the star. A new star ends up appearing after you collect it. And then, if you get hit, just like the, uh, the, um, the silver stars, you'll actually lose that star, giving the other player a chance to catch up and get another star. And you basically keep doing this until the last star or the timer runs out. And, or, I think, I think it's still the last star. So, like, you have, like, a maximum amount of stars. But that pretty much is it for the multiplayer. This is like one of the first games where you actually have significant multiplayer uh, in a game. So yeah, that pretty much covers it for that. That pretty much covered everything post-game wise, um, multiplayer wise. So, that is about it. And, of course, the final thing, the fun fact. If we go into adventure here, you notice that this there's this weird black box or hole or something on the side of the castle there, um, right? You know where the the bottom of the moat is, and that has been eluding people on Reddit's and 4chan for years about what it is, and turns out it's just a graphical glitch. If you go ahead and access a file here. And head on over this way. You know, head in game. This is honestly one of the most interesting mysteries in gaming. Just like in the original game, we had L is real. But L is real in this game. So, I mean, we're literally playing as him. But if we go ahead and go into first person mode here, there is no black box. So, you might think, oh, let's go up there and see if we could, like, punch it or something, right? There, There's nothing here. Yeah. And there's literally nothing. Like, there's not even like a different texture, nothing. It's it's just a regular wall, just like it was in the original game. And people have been speculating for literal years that it could be connected to Waluigi. And there's Waluigi's painting. And people even posted like, you know, in the early days of the internet, because Mario 64 DS came out in the early days of the internet, that potentially, you know, Waluigi wasn't on the box art even, but he isn't. He's not in this game, not even in the code. There may have been plans to add him, you know, in the planning stages of this game, but ultimately they just ended up with Mario, Luigi, and Wario. Honestly, that's a lot more Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, and Wario, I should say. Honestly, that is a lot more interesting than um, Mario, Luigi, and Two Toads, but at the same time, like, did Wario really need to be in this game? And for that sake, Waluigi... But, man, Waluigi has always gotten the sword end of the stick. I mean, he wasn't in 64DS, and he wasn't in Smash. But, that is it for Super Mario 64DS. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire playthrough and this bonus episode. And, I will see you guys next time for something different. Bye-bye. Hmm.